I'm very grateful for that friendship. It, it did provide me a lot of comfort in those really challenging years. Jeanette McCurdy's thanking her iCarly co-star Miranda Cosgrove for helping her heal from past trauma. And this is iCarly! While chatting with the ladies of Red Table Talk, Jada, Willow, and Gammy, the 30-year-old actress opens up about how Miranda helped her deal with her issues with women amid a very complicated relationship with her own mom. My relationship with Miranda was hugely healing to my concept of women. And right. my mom was always saying, men will never really know you and they'll hurt you, but women will know you deeply and then you. they'll hurt you. You tell me which is worse. I have three brothers who I love and I felt this sort of trust toward boys yeah. that I didn't feel toward girls of course. very young. And Miranda helped me to heal that relationship, but it is something that I still struggle with. And that longtime friendship continues to impact Jeanette's life. I made you a sandwich. <laughs> oh my God, I love Miranda to pieces. I always will, she has such a special place in my heart. She helped me grow as a person and heal as a person. And I hope I did the same for her. And I just love her so much. We totally still keep in touch, not as often as we used to. We used to be attached to the hip, so it was very, it was very much that kind of relationship throughout. Honestly, probably until our mid twenties, but now we're all uh, we're all grown up and yeah. in our different directions. But yeah. I'm always rooting for her. Jeanette goes into detail about the emotional and physical abuse she says she endured from her late mother, Deborah McCurdy, in her memoir. I'm glad my mom died. It was a difficult reality to come to terms with, but something that I did through years of therapy. Mm -hmm. um, certainly, it was important for me to explore all that personally before exploring it creatively or in any sort of a public-facing way. I really needed to understand and make sense of my past privately and on my own time, which I did, and, uh, and I'm proud of that work. And at the Red Table, the former Nickelodeon star shares an example of just how rough things got. Here's Jeanette reading an email from her mom after discovering Jeanette was dating iCarly writer Paul Glazer, a man more than a decade older than her. Dear Nat, I am so disappointed in you. You used to be my perfect little angel, but now you are nothing more than a little, all caps, slut, a uh, floozy, all used up. And to think, you wasted it on that hideous ogre of a man. I told your brothers about you and they all said they disown you just like I do. We want nothing to do with you. Love, mom. Or should I say Deb, since I am no longer your mother. P.S. Send money for a new fridge, ours broke. Jeanette's fractured relationship with her mom compels Jada to ask. Do you think you want to have children of your own? Ooh, Jada, I was thinking the same wow. thing. Get out of my head. I would never want to have a child for my own identity. That's a very, very concrete yeah. one for me. I'm at a place where, so I'm 30. I don't feel like I want kids. Um, yeah. I have two nieces that I adore and a, and a third on the way. I'm really happy to be an aunt, and right now I don't feel that I want them, but I'm also open, open. to mm -hmm. maybe a couple years from now or whenever I, I, something hits me and I just feel like, yeah, I do want that, mm -hmm. um, but for now. But for now, you're good. Yes. Echoing all that, Jeanette told ET last month she feels like she's exactly where she needs to be. Have you found that woman that you are and that you want to be? I have from both, I think, you know, a, a value standpoint and a, a, and a personal standpoint, as well as a professional one. Um, professionally, I'd like to focus on writing and directing. I'm writing a novel, I'm writing a collection of essays, I'm doing what I would like to be doing. What's the novel about? Uh, I'm not talking about it yet. Okay. Uh, that'll be, I guess, another tour. All right, this is day one of this <laughs> book, <laughs> so we're going to have to wait, people. Yeah, exactly.